Hey guys, welcome to your 19th block based programming tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to change the backdrops uh, and how to move to the next backdrop. All right, so what I realized in the last example, um, I, I the time was running out and I didn't get to properly show you. I was trying to change the color instead of the brightness. So I click the space key real quick, that should make it darker. If I click the R, I should reset the zero. Zero is the same as clearing it, but clear graphic effects clears all the graphic effects. If you have multiple effects going on, this just sets a certain graphic effect to zero. Okay, I want to clear it up real quick. So first, let's go ahead and take these effects off the screen so I don't have to worry about them. And I'll go ahead and take this out as well. Okay, so talking about backdrops. So they're going to be in the looks as well. So we're gonna switch backdrop two and switch the next backdrop. So we're gonna switch those out right here. The way you're gonna see your backdrops is by looking down here. Right now we only have one backdrop, which is a clean white backdrop. Let's go ahead and change that. So I'm gonna click here and we're gonna choose a backdrop. You can go ahead and make your own backdrop or upload one from online, but we're just gonna use the one to scratch already has in this example. So we're gonna have him this would make sense in the Jurassic, right? And let's also choose another backdrop, let's say on a farm. And let's add one more, let's have it Metro in the city. Okay, so if I click on here on backdrops, and then I click up here, you realize that costumes is gone and that's then replaced by backdrops because I have the black, the backdrops, the backdrops selected. Okay, so I'll click on backdrops and I'm going to click up here and I'm going to go ahead and get rid of backdrop one. But you see these backdrops have names. If I want to change the name of it, I can do it up here. If I want to add something in the background, right? Let's say I wanted to add like, um, let's not make it purple. Let's make it a yellow sun, right? There's my yellow sun. Really nice yellow sun in the Jurassic Age. There you go. Uh, there's my yellow sun. You can change the backdrops. You can make your own if you want. We're not gonna get into that right now. We're gonna talk about the code behind it. All right, so let's go back to the ghost, okay? Let's say when the space key is pressed, we're gonna make it move to the next backdrop, okay? And the next backdrop simply is, if you look at our backdrops, once again, very similar to next costume, it moves to the next one. So this is the order. It should go from Jurassic to Farm to Metro. And then once it hits three, it's going to move back up to one again, just like our costume from before. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click on Ghost. So when the space key is pressed, backdrop changes. Space key is pressed, backdrop changes. So I keep clicking the space key, backdrop always switches. What should I end on? Will be let's end on this one. Perfect. On the farm. Okay. So when the space key is pressed, I'm gonna move to the next backdrop. And we'll say, hmm, we'll say when hmm, when he's clicked, we're going to switch him. You know what? Let's move this. Let's use the bat. Okay. So when the bat's clicked. The bat's favorite backdrop of the three, uh, favorite backdrop, the bat is going to like, let's say, switch backdrop to, let's just say Metro, okay? So that's the bat's favorite backdrop, right? So you click space and it keeps on going through all the different backdrops. And if you click on the bat, it should go to the Metro backdrop. Let's see, and sure enough it does. If I click anywhere else, Nothing else happens, right? If I click everywhere, if I click him, nothing happens. But but if I click the bat, he says, I want to go to the Metro backdrop, and we go there. So that's how you would change backdrops, and these are important because in games and animations, you don't always have the same backdrop. It's not boring with a white background all the time. So we're going to talk about this further in other tutorials, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.